Finally today, I came to Washington in 1969 during the Nixon administration. My first beat was the Pentagon and the Secretary of Defense was former Republican Man. Congressman Man. Melvin Laird, in who I came way, to believe I was, with the possible exception of Lyndon Johnson, the best I politician I ever knew, certainly one support. of the wisest. Mel and I became lifelong friends. He's well into his 80s now, but he's as sharp as ever and he is worried, worried about the all-volunteer army that he helped to create and worried about where we're going in Afghanistan. In a letter last week, he said the volunteer force has far exceeded his expectations, but that we are asking too much of it now, and the multiple deployments and disregard for the personal and family life of our troops and their emotional well-being threaten to undermine our national security. Afghanistan worries him even more. He first went there in 1953 and he says its culture is tribal, not nationalistic, yet we hope to build a nation there. We fought eight years and lost a thousand Americans, yet we're no closer today to stability, let alone victory. Laird remembers how bad intelligence and misunderstanding led us to Vietnam and he wonders now if we have made the same mistakes again. I know something, he says, about misguided wars and how easy it is to get mired down in something that started with the best intentions. Mel Laird's opinion is one view, and there are others. But Mel Laird has seen a lot, and if he's worried, I guess so am I.